Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Monday, the very last Monday in November of 2018. Before the end of the week comes along, we will already be in the last month of the year. Actually, we are at 35 and a wake up before the calendar rolls once again to 2019 that's i mean it wasn't that long ago when we were saying happy new year it doesn't seem like it and yet we're down to a little more than a month 35 and a wake up so i've entitled this perspective there's still more left there's still more hello michael and vanessa thank you for joining me on this wonderful wonderful monday marvelous monday okay so i know that i know that it is nature for a lot of people to now that thanksgiving has come and the, the stores are rushing us into new years or, uh, or or christmas they already started that even before thanksgiving it's like oh my goodness oh my goodness time is winding up time is moving so quickly and even with hey Bridget even with that being there's there's this natural pull on us to just okay you know Thanksgiving holiday season and now we're getting ready to roll into Christmas and simplify roll into Christmas and New Year's let's just you know let's just slow down we even have entire companies I'm not mad at them that take the last two weeks of December and shut it down and so it, it, it puts us in almost like a hibernation mode. Like we, it's time to chill. It is just time to slow down. And, and I'm going to ask you, I'm going to offer to you that we might want to resist that urge because there is more left to do. For all of us who promised ourselves that we were not going to leave 2018 with some things undone, we cannot afford to give up and chill out and coast in on the last 35 days of the year. I, I, I um, Dr. John Maxwell said this, and someone else may have said it, but I am repeating it right now. There's only one direction you can coast, and that is downhill. But everything worth having, everything worth obtaining, everything worth going for is uphill. Everything. And so, <laughs> and so I'm just encouraging you. I want to encourage you and remind you that there is still more left to do, even as we're down to 35 and a wake up. There are things left to do. What you promised yourself you were going to accomplish. If you're not there yet and you've got breath left in your body, you need to keep pushing. You need to keep moving forward. You need to keep the momentum going. If you sort of slack because the calendar came around and said, it's Thanksgiving, it's holiday season, you need to pick back up your mantle and keep it moving. Because in 35 and a wake up, when we say happy new year, you want some things to have been closed out. I break down the year, you know, I break down life into five major chunks, your spiritual health, your physical health, your financial health, your relationships and your career. Well, January, February, March, April and May, we take one of those chunks of life and go hard for 30 days with an actionable item. In June, we reflect before we jump off into the half, the, the last half of the year. We take a month and we reflect, what could we have done better in all of those areas? What did we do? We were, we were on the on money, on the money. We were on point so that we can repeat come July, August, September, October, November. We are rounding out the last half of our self-improvement, our LIP, our life improvement plan, because November, I'm sorry, now that we're getting ready to head into December, we need to make sure that we have some things in place, things that did not work for us. 
they sounded good, they looked good on paper, the plan was supposed to be good, but it didn't work out. It's like that dress or that suit that looks good on the mannequin. You put it on and it is not doing anything. I mean, it's just like hanging. It looked better on the hanger than it does on you. So for those instances, we need to stop and revamp. We're getting ready to get there in December. And I am just, I, I am asking you, don't slow down now. Do not, you know, shift down to low gear because we've still got things that are left undone. Some promises that you made to yourself. And even in January or even at the beginning of November, you promised yourself that you were not going to break another promise to you, that you were not going to lie to you, that you were not going to um, trick yourself again. And so as we finish this week strong, to finish out November, remember there is still more left to be done. There's more left to be done and you've got the strength to do it. Do resist the urge, as strong as it may be. Resist the urge to go into hibernation mode and to relax and to, you know, just chill because, oh, it's the holiday festive season and it's time to slow down. I'm going to encourage you to just not do that. And I'm not saying don't take a break. Every, every day there needs to be a break when you revamp. Every week you need to revamp. Every, every month you need to revamp. But that's just breathing. Just breathe through it. If you've made yourself a promise that has not come to fruition yet, do not stop pushing. Do not stop demanding more of yourself. Do not lower the bar now. I don't care what they are doing. I don't care that that commercialism and media has is, is beckoning you and is urging you and tempting you to just slow down and relax and, okay, resist that urge because there's still more left to do, especially if you have not um, finish what you promised yourself you were going to do. Okay, in any area, or especially the area that you were working on for this month, the month is not over yet. Okay, so let's get some things in place. Uh, I'm going to, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, until next time, take real good care of yourselves. Look yourself in the mirror and demand more. Look yourself in the mirror and remind yourself there's still more to be. There's still more left. There's more left in you. There's more left to be done. Hello, Louisa, Miss Civility, as I have deemed you, and Sister Ron. Just don't stop, okay? We've got too much left to do. There's, and you have not finished what you said you would do. Do not break your promise to yourself, okay, because there's more left to do. Until next time, let me see who that was so I can, hello, Louisa. Okay, so until next time, take real good care of yourselves. Make it a marvelous Monday in route to finishing your promise.